Our special guest on the program today is Pam Eldred. Pam, a former Miss America, is gracing our studios this afternoon here at uh, the KX Network. Pam, welcome. Thank you. It's nice to be here. I must say that uh, it's too bad for a winter fest. We couldn't have had uh, a little more snow to greet you, but actually when you uh, think about the pros and cons <laughs> of having right. snow... In uh, fact, when I left Michigan, we, were, we just had about four inches, mm -hmm. so I was glad to get out. That's, that's something. You know, usually people, when they think of North Dakota, South Dakota, they always think of, oh, Cold. the winters, the snow that's pile right. 12 feet high. And um, actually, like in Texas yesterday, for example, uh -huh. uh, we had 35 degree readings here. It was 25 in Abilene or something like this. You're kidding. No. Texas mm -mm. is a warm state, though. Supposedly. Yeah. Yes. Huh. But things well, are Well, I'll tell you, I was in Chicago last week, and I met a man from Minot, and I mentioned that I was coming here, mm -hmm. and uh, he said, oh, well, you better be prepared. It'll be about 20 below zero. I thought, oh, my gosh, you mm -hmm. know, what have I gotten myself into? Right. But it was warmer here than it was in Detroit. Well, you know, actually this winter we've had, what, maybe three spells of a week or so where yeah. it gets 10, well, 20 below. Well, it's been below. mild all over, though, right. I think. Mm -hmm. But now that we've given everybody the weather forecast <laughs> for the entire 48 contiguous states, <laughs> uh, Pam is in town, of course, to uh, co MC the Miss Minot Winterfest pageant, which will be taking place tonight at McFarland Auditorium. Right. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. That's, That's right. That's good. And advance tickets are still on sale at Osco Drug. We have to throw in all the little, right. the little tidbits. Well, because we want everybody at the show. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a great show. I, I was over there last night. The girls have worked very, very hard, and everybody you know, connected with the pageant have, have really put a lot into it. And uh, I think everybody will enjoy themselves tonight. And you know, I think something like this is an incentive for girls. Uh, it's not a beauty pageant, everybody thinks, you know, mm -hmm. Miss America beauty pageant, but it's a scholarship foundation. And um, they encourage girls to set a goal and to work towards something, and they encourage them to get an education so they can really contribute to society. And I really think that people should encourage girls like this to go on and, uh, you know, give them the backing they need and give the pageant the backing it needs. Definitely. And, of course, as we have talked so many times uh, this week on the show prior to this, Pam, just the fact that a girl takes part in a pageant and gets used to being out in front of the public, gets right. used to meeting people and gets perhaps... I don't want to say that everybody's an introvert, but out of their shell a little bit, because until right. you get used to being in front of people, I think you, it drives you, you, you know, shy to get, away. Uh, right. like this. And, you know, life is meeting and being with people and, uh, you know, exchanging ideas, and, mm -hmm. and it, it brings something out of everybody. And uh, our old saying is there's never a loser that, that competes. There's, you always get at least something out of the pageant. Right, something to be gained. That's no right. No matter how insignificant you might think it is later uh -huh. life, perhaps, uh, it'll it come to bear It comes back, and, mm -hmm. and you can see. Now, you said you were at the dress rehearsal last night. Then. Right. Uh -huh. uh, was you passing out any hints or little uh, no, ideas you know, to the girls um, or anything? Anybody ask you anything? Well, not really. I don't particularly care to do that mm -hmm. because, you know, you've got to think that you work as hard as you can for this pageant and you know you keep improving yourself and if somebody comes in the day before and says oh you know you're doing that all wrong first of all you're crushed mm -hmm. that you know think you put all this hard work into it and it beats down the self-confidence right away and this is what you need and uh, you know there's always this little thing in the back of their head that if they didn't win they could think well you know if she hadn't told me to do that I might have won mm -hmm. so really I just you know I try to encourage the girls I realize what they're going through although I'm a little jealous of them I enjoy competing uh -huh. and I kinda miss it now that I'm not doing it uh, and you just try and help them relax and be themselves and enjoy it I would imagine those are the main things right. now uh, you competed in the Miss America pageant as Miss Michigan. Right, right? correct. Uh -huh. And uh, just out of curiosity, what was your talent? That one? Ballet. Ballet. Uh -huh. Have you per gone along with it anymore? Is it kind of well, <laughs> slipped into the background? Well, um, when I was traveling as Miss America, I mm -hmm. wasn't really allowed to use my talent because I, you know, I couldn't keep in condition all the time, and the floors would be slippery. And and a dancer is like an athlete. You know, mm -hmm. their body is their instrument, and they have to keep it in top condition. Right. So after the year, I thought, well, I'm going to go back and get back in condition. And I started to, but I was going to school and I was traveling, and you know, I'm still dancing, but I wasn't doing it as strenuously as I was before. Then I went to Europe last summer, and I was performing uh, over there, and I fell and I tore the cartilage in my knee. So I haven't been able to dance until January, and I just started back. 
I'm Calamity Jane, so yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> kind of like the football injury yeah, is right. we hear about, right? That's right. So uh, what are you into right now then, Pam? I think you mentioned some things about uh, some commercial work you're doing. Yes, I'm uh, doing commercial work. I'm modeling, photographic modeling. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a talk show in the Michigan area. I was going to uh, do some work with the Canadian Broadcast Company, mm -hmm. but um, I couldn't get into the union. Their, their television system is owned by the government, right. and they have a quota system on Americans coming in. Mm -hmm. I didn't think we were so bad. <laughs> 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 but um, So it was difficult for me to get in. Mm -hmm. And if I would have gone over, I would have had to wait three months before I could have gotten in their union and that. So I've kind of given it up. Is it the same in Canada? Is it after up there too, or is it is it? Different? It's sort of like after, but mm -hmm. it, I don't think they go by the same name. I see. Detroit. That brings to mind uh, CKLW for one. That's right. They're in Windsor. And WNKR or Keener. Oh, Keener. Yeah. WKR. That's right. It, right. Uh huh. WXYZ. Uh huh. WJBK. WJR. When you're affiliated with radio stations, you usually keep track uh -huh. of them as far as what's happening. I had a friend that worked at uh, uh, CKLW for a while. And so uh, it's just fun to chat about the stations and things like that, what's happening in the cities. So uh, you said you're going to Florida now. That'll be a change again, yes, won't it? Yes, thank goodness. I'll probably get pneumonia traveling back and forth. Uh -huh. But I'm doing a commercial down there, um, water skiing, swimming, tennis. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to play tennis, so. But you will for the commercial, oh, right? Oh, you bet oh, yes. I will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you learn a lot during commercials. Right, as you run up to the you net and smile. You never knew you could do so many and things. And your toothpaste is working, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> or polish your teeth or uh -huh. something, yes. Something like uh -huh. this. So, uh, actually, then, you're keeping very busy as far as the things you're into. This talk show thing interests me, though. Would you be the host of it? Would it be your own talk yes. show? Yes, uh-huh. Um, I've always been interested in doing a talk show. Mm -hmm. In fact, I had a chance after my year, but I decided that I wanted to go back to school and get my degree. And I thought, well, I don't think I'm really mature enough yet to uh, have my own talk show. Mm -hmm. Not that I think I am now, but um, you know, you have to learn to deal with different people and right. their personality and how to bring things out of them. It's different being interviewed you know, than being the interviewer. Yeah, interviewer and, and interviewee, yeah, that type right, of situation. Right. And it's, uh, I don't know, it'll be a challenge for me. Mm -hmm. But I kind of, you know, I'd like to, whenever I start something, I want to be good at it. So I don't know if I'm ready yet to do it, but uh, I'm getting a lot of pressure on me. And I have to realize that I can't be in the commercial field all my life, and I'm going to have to settle down sometime. So, uh, well, there's no hurry, though. No, there's no, I'm not as young as you think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a has-been, you know, too. Oh, I can't believe former. that. Former. Well, everybody's a former something. Well, yeah, but not at 21. I was a former at 21. Uh -huh. See, that's when it's hard to take. Uh -huh. When you're. Well, then, if you're a has-been, then I must be ready to retire. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I don't think so. You see, I, I just put fallacies all through your whole oh, argument. Oh, okay. There, so uh, once again, just a reminder, we should probably uh, highlight the pageant, of course, why you're here. You'll be the co MC tonight. Correct. Correct? Yes. And uh, I suppose you're looking forward to that. you got uh, all your witty lines written on the inside of your suit. Oh, no. I just think them up on stage. Just right like that, huh? Yes. Off the top uh -huh. of your head. That's very good. The pageant tonight, then, will be at 8 o'clock at McFarland Auditorium. Uh, tickets, as we mentioned, are on sale at Osco Drug. You can, of course, get them at the door if you don't get them prior to the uh, performance tonight. And go out and see Pam and all the 12 contestants, is it Pam? 12, that's correct. I interviewed them the last two days, but I couldn't remember the yeah, exact number. Yeah, there's 12. And I really hope that after the pageant, the people will come up and talk to me. You know, traveling around, uh, I don't get a chance to see the cities that much, mm -hmm. but you learn a lot about the cities through the people you meet. And I really enjoy meeting the people of the different states and the different cities that I visit. Uh huh. Very good. Pam, I want to thank you so much for thank taking you. time out to visit with us this We've, afternoon. I've enjoyed it very much. Very good. Miss America, of, can I say it, 1970? Yeah. Thank you. That's <laughs> not long ago. 1970, Pam Eldred, our guest today on Dialing for Dollars.